Hey guys, we're gonna head into repurposed pennies. If I can find the sign, you know, find the note. There we go, there's Bob. So we're gonna head in. It's one of my favorite stores in Detroit Lakes. They got some great bargains, so let's do this. I found the sign for Bob's rec room. Ready? Uh, uh, we found all the good stuff, kiddos. Don't worry. And dad's already breaking stuff. Don't worry. We'll make him pay yeah, for it. I mean, it. I don't mind when people take Where pictures or whatever. I think. Okay, I'm coming. What is it? Rubber babies in three different colors. Okay, I'm coming. <laughs> I haven't even I haven't even made it through the door, kids. I haven't even made it through the door. Such amazing stuff. There's so much kitsch, so much, just so much to see. It's such a great place. The fun colored blanket. And they do have some mix of like repurposed stuff with vintage. And then I found the clown checkers, which of course I had to record for Misty because we all know Misty loves clowns. Um, not. <laughs> no. Um, and I'm not too fond of them myself. Uh, very cute toys, some really fun kitsch, and that sign just made me laugh so much. Super fun radios, just something for everybody, really. Lots of fun tins and some amazing repurposed, probably not so vintage Christmas ornaments, but I love the pink. Lots and lots of elephants and repurposed Tupperware. I love it. It is the kitsch of it all. Absolutely adore it. All sorts of little bits and baubles. And as you probably have noticed, their prices are pretty amazing. They're, you know, $2, $3, $4, $5. A fun little creepy clown doll. Lots of fun and funky stuff. Just a great store. I loved that mug tree up in the corner. Um, and just a great mix. That dress form is amazing and lots of brass on the shelf. That pot was really interesting. Just some really awesome stuff. That really cool pot, that radio was amazing. Had to get a close up of the creepy clown. Some enamel wear, which was really interesting. It had some mushies on it. Um, and then those pink bowls, I loved the color and just a eclectic mix for sure. <laughs> There's some Pyrex and then lots of salt and pepper shakers. So many salt and pepper shakers. Um, Bob was helping me pull them out of the cabinets and find them and hold on to all of them as I was trying to film. <laughs> it is quite an art to figure out the filming and the shopping and there's some more amazing shakers that we found and then here's some of the shakers on the counter some of the things that we bought some amazing amazing finds and this place is so huge it just goes on and on and on so lots to see so I always try to go around a couple of times if I can. And there was things I saw the second time that I didn't see the first time. And as I'm watching the video, even there's more things that I did not see when I was there. So lots and lots of fun. Very cool stuff. Cute little matchbox holders, some sweet little mugs, and then all the stuff in the front case. So check them out. Repurpose pennies in Detroit Lakes, Minnesota. Right next door is this other place called Vicky's Sweet Pickens, and they have a lot of fantastic stuff as well. So, so much. Beautiful displays, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful items. There's a Bob. He's shopping right along with me, and I'm sure you're going to see that orange glass in the window. I did buy that. Don't worry. I did grab that. It looks like Belief. And lots of pretty, pretty items. They're knockoff, but and knockoff I did spot Ooh, this sweet little honey pot and 
some other beautiful yellow items in the spring and summer display. And I did spot the bluebirds, don't worry. So lots and lots of birds and some amber colored ones as well. They were all priced really, really reasonably. $20 on that one, $18 on that one. I just had bought so many birds this trip that I left them for somebody else to find. Um, try not to break things. <laughs> so I did leave them for somebody else to find. I had bought so many glass animals this trip that I didn't need any more, even though their prices were really good. You're okay. There was <laughs> lots of beautiful glassware, some beautiful glass, some fun kitsch as well. Stoneware, Pyrex, just lots of fun stuff. Bob is holding that adorable okay, planter which I did grab and am going to keep for myself and then that planter will be for sale soon and then and there's a cute little prixie right pal. there this very very sweet as Michael. well you're welcome Michael and one of the things I love about this store is how everything is just so well put together so you'll see those little stars and bars canisters over there there was some fun shockware loved that QP. It was so cool. I believe it was more than I wanted to spend though. I think that's why I didn't grab it. So fun little chalkware and that cute QP. Oh, I think it ended up being around $40. So fun ceramic lamp with a really cool shade and some fun dot dishes. I believe those are McKee. Some fun slag glass shakers which I did grab a lot of owls, lots and lots of owls. I did grab one or two of the owls and some really fun flowers and grilly stuff. And there's a whole room of Christmas. So I did grab those Santa mugs and some of the flocked wall decor, which was amazing. And that sweet little wreath, yeah, the bottle room. brush wreath with the Santa on it. I just loved that. And there was a few handmade creations that were made by Vicki, the owner, which was really, really awesome. Um, she's got quite the eye. And there's that okay, Fenton hand-painted fairy find? lamp, the hobnail fairy lamp, which I did grab as well. So lots of fun ornaments, an entire Christmas tree, and an entire display of ornaments, and some fun Christmas jewelry as well. Some merry mushrooms, lots and lots of fun, and some fun shakers, and then up on the top of that shelf, I believe, there was those treasure craft pixie shakers that I did grab. Apparently, I did not get them on film. <laughs> Those sweet little kitty cats um, right there next to the gold covered dish. I did grab those. Those were Joseph's. And there's that close-up of that Fenton fairy lamp. So, lots of fun finds and just so much stuff. So much stuff. The ice cream cookie jar absolutely loved there's some more mckee bowls and some mushroom canisters the cookie jar was only 28 dollars. i just didn't want to ship it and at that point i was being really choosy about what i was buying room, i also loved this chalkware skunk chalkware bank skunk. has so much personality so much Holy and this buckets. place just keeps going there's so much to see this was a whole nother room full of kitschy goodies so good lots and lots of beautiful colors and tins beautifully decorated i did grab that flower up on the wall up there and I loved all those red thermoses. So and I did grab those mid-century 
chartreuse wall pockets on that top shelf over there. Those were super fun as well. Lots of mugs. There's so many cool mugs. Um, definitely could deck out your mug collection at this store. And then it just keeps going. So you walk through some more fun and funky displays. And there's even an outside area, which I did not film because it was just too windy that day. So Bob found some more amber glass. Um, lots and lots of fun. So different just all sorts of different stuff. There's a treasure craft cookie jar, lots of stoneware, lots of radios. Bob's pointing to the radios. Um, and a whole shelf or two shelves of milk glass, actually. So we did not get any of the radios. Unfortunately, um, he had already bought a few radios um, this trip. So this will wrap up the video for Vicky's Sweet Pickens. You can find them on Facebook and check them out. It's definitely worth the trip. They're in Detroit Lakes, Minnesota.